Happy Thanksgiving. If you're like most people, today and the next few days, and really the next few weeks, is a time that's going to be spent with family. And while it's fun, it's encouraging, for a lot of people, it can be really difficult. So this is your emergency guide to spending a great deal of time with your family. Listen to this passage, Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 15. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Now, I in no way want to excuse bad behavior from family members. There are some family members and friends that we actually shouldn't spend time with, even though it is the holiday season. And so if there is somebody that would put you in danger, if there is somebody strung out in addiction and you can't be around them and you need to separate yourself, do that. But for everybody else, here's my encouragement to you during the holiday season. Remember that you control yourself and do that. And then don't try to control anybody else. What amazes me about this passage in Colossians is he's saying, clothe yourselves with compassion and kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. But he doesn't say who you're going to be around. He doesn't talk about, now, depending on how they treat you, depending on what they do. No, what he's saying here in this passage is, this is something you completely control, who you yourself are going to be. Verse 15, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Literally, whether or not I'm peaceful today, in no way is dependent upon anybody around me. That is something I completely control. And yet, whenever it comes to the holidays, for whatever reason, we tend to lose all sense of boundaries. We forget about ourselves. We literally take control of ourselves and hand it over to our family members and say, hey, who am I going to be today? You decide. How you treat me, what you do, that's, that's the attitude I'm going to have in, in this moment. And instead, we need to take back control of our lives and, and then not try to control anybody else and recognize they're going to be different than us. They're going to make different choices than us, different decisions than us. They're going to value things differently than we do. And it's not our job to come in and control them or manipulate them or even get them on the right track. Instead, it is our job simply to be a calming presence, to literally bring the presence of, of Jesus, of uh, of humility and gentleness and patience, of thankfulness into whatever setting we're coming into, not being defined by others, but instead ultimately being defined by Christ. I recognize that being around family can be very difficult for some. Do everything in your power today to not allow others to dictate who you are because you ultimately are a child of God. Be that wherever you go today and have a great Thanksgiving.